Hi everyone, really quick video here on rearranging some complex formula. So this would be on high up, we'd be looking at this being towards the end of the paper, so it wouldn't be near the start. Okay, so key thing to identify here is it's asking me to make x a subject, and I can see I've got an x here, but I've also got an x here. So there's two different values of x, that's an xp and that's an x, so they can't go together. Therefore, this is a slightly harder um, form of factorize, uh, rearranging. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this t, take it over, it's currently going to divide by t. So when I move it over, we're going to multiply it. Now, key here to remember is that you're multiplying both of these parts by this t. So when I expand that out, it actually becomes tx minus ty. Okay, so I've also got two different forms of t. I've also got two different forms of x. Because you're making x a subject, what you want to do is get your x's on one side and everything else the other side. So you can see here I've moved this tx this way and I've moved this q that way. I've moved the q because I need the x's together. So you can see here I've got my xp and I've got my tx together. So my x's are now together. Everything else has to go the other side. So that's a minus ty. Remember, and then I'm taking this q over, it becomes a minus q. And this is what you need to remember. You have to factorize to make just one of the x's here. So what value is in both here? Well, there's an x in both. So I stick that on the outside of my brackets. How do I get x to xp? I times it by p. How do I get to x to minus tx? I times it by minus t. So that left-hand side becomes factorized like that. Minus ty minus q stays the same. And then all you're doing is you're picking up this p minus t, which is currently multiplied by that x. Move it over. And when you move it over, it actually becomes a divide. So you're saying x is now on its own. And it's minus ty minus q. And it's all divided by p minus t. That would be your answer to making x the subject. Okay? Hope that helps you. Hope you found it useful.